To me, as a dance, moving theatre artist, uh, collaboration is not really an option. There is no working alone. The idea of an artist in residency in a school really appealed to me, but as a theatre artist, I can't do that by myself. Um, I have to work with other people for my practice. Dance is a communication, it is a sharing, and it's an investigation of the space between me and another person. So the idea of being given time to figure out what that space between the two of us as artists could be was, was what called, I think, both Julie and I to be a residency to begin with. When meeting Kelly, we had some real similarities in our work in that we're both physical based, but hers is much more physical and abstract and mine leans into the text. So it seems like we had a, a nice place to meet together. I thrive and I create best in that friction of rubbing up against somebody else and somebody else's ideas. And that, that is a really exciting place. I'm not a performer, I'm a director, but in this environment I've been a performer and that has challenged me but it's made me re-look at my practice again from a different perspective as well. We sit in an office together twice a week and talk which as a dance artist is fantastic because <laughs> usually I just do I'm interested in the verbs give me the words so I'll go do something but to have to actually sit and say what are we doing and why are we doing it and how could we do it differently and what just happened at lunchtime when we came to Kingston, we really just took some time to look around and to get a feel of the place and, and see what happened. We came into the residency with this idea of, of being given gifts and originally that was going to be physical gifts but it, it very quickly became this school was the gift. It's, it's a very unique environment, it's very new and there's a lot about it that we've been responding to. The gift was the architecture, was the place of this school and was the community of people in it both students and teachers. We've just moved to a brand new site here. We've kind of picked up all our old staff and we've moved to this beautiful new facility. The whole site is about 750 metres long, um, so it's quite away from one end of the site to the other. So without any overt markings, we've discovered that students have separated themselves along the length of the school. We see this learning street and the pods, grade seven are at the bottom of the hill and they stay predominantly there in their pod. They might zigzag a little, but basically as you work your way through the high school, you work your way up the hill. Our first group were largely grade nine and 10 students out of one drama class. Then we did a call to the whole school saying who else would like to go? And we ended up with grade sevens and grade tens <laughs> and a few grade nines and they didn't know each other. So a lot of the work became about how do you connect? How do you get to know somebody? So we've done a lot of impulse work, we've done choreographic dance work with them, but always with an improvised element to it. And, and we play performance games and, and turn them into performances. We're trying to give them the skills to have the confidence to play outside in front of their peers, to encourage their peers to join in so that the performance becomes uh, an opportunity to engage and join in a sense of community. It's just been like awesome getting to know heaps of new people and having that like sort of bond, I guess. I get really nervous, so it was quite scary, but once we'd worked with Kelly and Julie for a while, it was um, good to just do whatever and have no shame. The fact that they're working publicly caused a bit of a challenge from time to time. I think the first time they went out, there was some concern that there were great mobs of students because if a big congregation like that happens, it usually means something bad is happening. But it meant that we kind of went, well, you know, is it okay if students gather and form these tight groups? How do we feel about that? Just to question, I think, is really a useful thing. Oh, it was crazy. Everyone was following around and um, it was just amazing to see what like everyone else thought of what they were doing. Because we had we all have our own opinions and stuff, whether they're the crazy lady or they're doing some cool kind of art movement kind of piece. Julie would just do that thing where she moves really slowly and then after a while people are like, hang on, wasn't she there? 
The beautiful thing about performance is that there's nothing left. You do it and it's gone if it's live performance. So we thought let's figure out ways to articulate that and try and capture it in the moment in some sense so we can return to it. And we started a blog. So we've got this history basically once a week, sometimes more, we both post to that blog. It's been a beautiful way of figuring out how do we translate what we're doing to different communities and different audiences. And perhaps the blog is another attempt at that translation. Translation of what we have done physically or what we've thought about or what we've talked about into this virtual world that others can share in. This residency has been about experiment um, and exploration, but it's brought us to a point where we go, Yes, we want to continue this. The most interesting is a new compound, that we don't compromise in any way who we are or what we're doing. We're not looking for a mix, but what is really Julie and Kelly? What if you put those two things together? What new compound have we created? And so with more time, I'll be really interested to see what that compound can grow and what it can contribute, both to us as individual artists, but also to you know, the art that we are determined to make.